This morning, with grocery prices, especially eggs, putting a bigger dent in Americans' wallets, analysts have high hopes for the new government report on inflation due out today. It's expected to show consumer prices last month rose 6.5 percent compared to a year ago. That's encouraging when compared to the 7.1 percent increase in November, but not nearly enough relief for most shoppers. It's just too much. It's too much. I don't want to buy any. I can't afford it. Overall, food prices rose about 12 percent in the last year, but eggs have been a whole different story, with prices more than doubling, even tripling in some areas. Shoppers at one store in New York reporting a carton of eggs now costs more than $11. Restaurants say they can't keep up. We used to get a case for about $27, and now we're getting them for about $150. It's not just inflation. The worst bird flu outbreak in years has taken a toll on the industry, coupled with high demand during the recent holiday baking season, leading to shortages in some areas. The Agriculture Department says bird flu has reduced the egg-laying hen population by more than 40 million. If the egg price still so high, we will have to increase the price again. Last week, I did a lot of custards and stuff like that, so I didn't do any muffins because you have to find that that toss up between what are we going to be able to offer. The good news is some experts believe egg prices may have peaked, but they're expected to remain high through spring. As for the inflation report due out today, if the news isn't good, expect the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates yet again. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.